Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Quest. In today's episode of Dragon's Quest, we're going to take this middle section of the land, and we're actually going, right here on the map, we're actually going to explore it. So last episode we did a little bit, a bit of exploring, there wasn't a minute made by much, I don't remember ever digging that, so it's nice to have a little tank to go up here. But we're going to... Uh, probably after the sun goes down, because I can believe what we got at the I showed up to the late here. But I'm going to straight that. Put that bit in there and we're gonna bring that back out. But we're just gonna kinda of show we're gonna kinda of look at this and see what we can find. We found a couple of spruce forests as well. I think they're igloos, I just didn't have anything attached to it. Now it was floating. So, that yeah, I think is uh, something to be fair. I think that's probably one of the better things that we could find. <gasps> Another spruce forest, let's go. Another taiga. And I don't think that this, this is something that I haven't explored yet, though. But to be fair, I just kind of. Not in it on the map. I didn't necessarily explore it later. Like I probably should have. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, we will. We're definitely going to come back to all of this at some point in the future. During the quest series. I, I definitely feel like we need something to continue the uh, series with. Because, like. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. We could definitely build a thing or two. We can build houses. And we can even move where we're at. I just kind of want to see um, before I think about moving anywhere. Oh, we got a swamp. Pretty cool. Got a swamp. It's pretty cool. There's probably bound to be some swamp things there. I think we found the swamp actually. So we're kind of heading back into familiar territory. But that's okay. Coming back to familiar territory is okay. Oh, this is the uh, other taiga biome. I would have loved to. This is just me, but I'd love to move back into a taiga biome. I didn't. I haven't lived in taiga biome in this world yet. I just like what? What? Ooh, what's that? Okay, I'm gonna have to come back to this later. Yes, it's not something I can uh if I definitely move back to the taiga, like in my dragon some whole new world, uh that might be a good cave to explore, but that's not what I'm looking for now. I definitely feel like going back to the taiga is going to be probably I'll, I'll probably go to the snowy taiga, I'll be honest with you. The cave like the desert. As a dumb type of thing. But we also found something near on our way exploring. And I think that. Well, if you saw the last episode, then you'll know what I'm talking about here. But we found. Da da da. If I actually end up finding it again, it would be pretty cool. Um, we found what I believe is either a ruin or it looks like a stronghold of some kind. So, if by chance we find a stronghold, then we can probably get started working on me a dragon. Oh! Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, is it? I realized we were building a, a nether portal next to the village. And I'm going to have, if I move houses, I'm going to have to mess with that or bring that over. And I'm not sure I'm going to take on that project just yet. But I definitely need to for sure. And I should have recorded this before, but I was asleep over there. I'm sorry for the. He has a uh, habit of saying every square word in the book when he's playing his Valorant. That's the call I spilled over there. And I am recording. Part two and one, not two. <laughs> I record these days before, like 
I meant to do, but that's okay. Um, what else do I feel like I should talk about? You know what I think I should talk about? My new job. So, as of this recording, I actually got by it this morning. So that's kind of why the video is coming out so late, because I thought I had to sleep a little bit. And I was super tired by the end of everything. I had just worked a 10 hour shift prior to that. The whole schedule that we've got going on actually won't change much in terms of what we're doing. Just note that it might be a little bit. Oh, this might. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm moving either to the. This is definitely a place where I'm going to build something. A shipyard, a ship, or something. I definitely feel like. Utilizing the ocean is definitely a must in this world. Because it's mostly just ocean. And it does have it does have some land, but like ah. I, I definitely feel like though if I'm looking for Enderman, then the desert is the best place for me to look. I mean so is the so is the nether. I'm not gonna say that like the nether isn't there or anything, but I definitely feel like that needs to be something I can work on. I also need to find a, in particular, a good, good spot. So let's, let's head over to that, uh, Snowy Taiga. I am still talking about it. See if there's actually a, uh, good house spot over there. There probably is. And it's been a while since I recorded the last episode, so I don't really remember. But... And it also gives uh, people that haven't seen the last episode a chance to see it. And of course, I think some snowy tigers are something we always need to look at. I definitely want to do something with jungle wood in this world. I barely utilize jungle wood and I barely utilize acacia. So if I can like, use those and utilize current building skills, I. Hi there, uh, drowned. Must be guys. We also found that uh, last episode too. My ocean monument. And it's also right where I gotta go. Uh, I mean, it's not right. I can kind of go. I definitely want to do something with it. But that is definitely for another time. Definitely feel like that is for another time. I'm not going to challenge that just yet. But if I move houses to this taiga that I'm looking at, if I can keep the boat straight for about five seconds, there, and bring it over there. Oh yeah, this is this is a really nice spot. And of course, I can only build something here. It's not that big, but I can definitely utilize it and make it look nicer. It's gonna be a really, I think it's gonna be a really nice change of pace for the, like, the world. If I go and change from sand to snow. Obviously this is like the only real snow patch I've got. But I can definitely make a house here. And that, that's definitely something I should feel like needs to happen in the next couple of episodes. Build a proper house. We literally just took over a villager's house and it's what we've been calling home. And I don't think that needs to be the case. And also, I know we have, I think we've got dark oak somewhere. I could probably you know, start making a proper house within the next episode. We're being like, well, I'm honest. All right, that's it. Uh, we are going to take some, anyway. I didn't keep in mind uh, everything there, but yeah, I know what I'm talking I know what I'm looking at. All right, let's head back to our current house. And to be fair, like the especially sixty worlds aren't that big in comparison to bedrock, so I don't really gotta mark anything. For, I just gotta remember where everything is at. And since this is the only snow patch I have. It won't be hard to find another, to find a spot. Okay. 
It would be really cool if right where I'm going to build my house, right over here, what if that's where the stronghold is? Then it's not over here, not next to the ocean monument. And I am going to seriously have to relook how to tackle one of those things. I, the last time I took one on, it wasn't really in survival, it was more like a survival creative esque. And now the guardians are already gone right now, I was taking it on. So, I was kind of thinking I'm not peaceful. Um, well, this looks really nice. I could make a base of some sort in it. Is that the Elder Guardian? Was that the Elder Guardian? Oh no. Okay. Yes, we can talk to you. So, let's go for the next year. No, that's it. Um, we are doing something with that Ocean Monument, and I mean, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I definitely feel like. If I start to, you know, this is where my house is currently. I am in a village. And village and village definitely upgraded the village. I, I was saying this like last time. And I know that there is a. There you go. You guys can use that. I know there was definitely a charm to these old villages, but they definitely upgraded them. Now, there was definitely a charm of just using the, like, not like the beds or anything, but like, that, I, I feel like that should have been like a default bed, but, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna lose something if you're gonna make everything look a little better. See, that's what I was worried about out there. It was this right here. To be fair, it's not going to be that big of a deal. If I'm being flat out honest with you. It's not going to be that big of a deal to, you know, take care of everything. But it also kind of gives me a good chance to move back to, like, my starting point. And I could probably utilize this somewhere. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. That's not something I'm going to want to do. Wait, I forgot about this stack of iron ore. Yeah, what am I going to do with that? That is a really good question. Uh, buckets. I probably just wasted like nine iron, but that's okay. I can waste so much iron. And rubber. Rubber. Okay, I got two buckets of lava. I got some water. I think I can probably now kind of set something. I love the update squad. It's a shame this was the last update. To be fair though, I think Forte Studios is cooking up something. So we're too, you can definitely bet when that comes out, whatever this new project of theirs is, I'm playing that day one. No way to end buzz about it. And uh, I was kind of watching an ABS toy comic video. I haven't really watched it per se, which is kind of confusing. I do no point here, but like, I like the. But, you know, if this one makes them happy, then that's, that's all I can ask for. I have light. Because I can't remember. Yeah. Did I create like a source block? I didn't create a source block by accident, did I? I think I created a source block by accident. Oh boy. A uh, good thing is that I have a bunch of cobblestone. Not what I was aiming for, but that's okay. I can definitely use the cobblestone somewhere. Especially in the new house. I'm definitely going to probably start doing that next episode. Uh, for sure. Because, and I don't know about the rest of you guys, but doing more of those would be kind of nice. Okay, um, that's, yeah, this is going to be a problem, I think. This is more, and, there, 
if I managed to hear her going through that, that would be uh, kind of hilarious. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So basically, I just have to place two right there. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to find another lava source, man. Because I screwed my other one up. I did it again. Created a, a source block when I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, that's a good. This, this is nice that I can create. Now, I still remember how to do that, too. Which I find that kind of cool. Don't be 100% honest with you. Don't be 100% honest with you, Mike. Okay. Always keep a white box on you. Yeah, you always can clutch. Now, find another lava source. Because <laughs> I kind of wasted my other ones. And I don't think I have any more in here. I don't have enough to do. You know what? Uh, other iron ore, you are going to be smelted. Have fun. Um, we need a flint and steel ones, is all over with. So, might as well get started and find another lava source. I think the worst part about it is I don't even remember if there was another office source that was in that room. Uh, wait, 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 there is. There is another office source. We passed it. Because I remember making a comment about it last episode. And I think it's going to be on the northern side of everything. Alright, check. You know where we gotta go. We gotta go exploring, we gotta go exploring, and there's a cave. I'm not sure if I ever actually explored this thing or not. I did not. Should do that at some point. It's not much. But that's okay. No, because it was on the other side of the world. Yeah, but. Now, I remember Frank making a joke about it last episode because it caught my eye. This is what's going to be really cool about moving to the snowy taiga. It'll be a lot closer to that lot set of lava source. Well, I'm going to need a, I'm gonna need a diamond pickaxe. Oh, boy. Oh boy. I was just thinking about this, but I could probably bypass it. Uh, if you guys would be okay with it. Yeah! Um, I was thinking about doing some more of what I'm doing extremely well. And build like a little protection around it. Like a little house. Uh, I'm not sure if that'd be something you guys would be interested in doing. That'd be something I could do. It's not gonna happen in this episode, obviously. That's gonna happen in the next couple episodes. I feel like that's going to really, if it's not something I want to do, it's something I'm going to want to. It's not something I'm gonna to want to think about, for sure. I could probably test a couple of ideas out. Now I'd have to work around a certain thing. <gasps> oh, wolf. And I have no bones on me. I have no bones. I have an entire pack of wolves over here. I don't have any. I think I do, I just lost them all at the house. At least I know where they're at. <sighs> Man, he always has a little better how to raise you. I have to point that out to him. But. Mm, no. Okay, I'm not, I keep finding good caves. I say good caves, but none of the real, real, real good caves really started to come out till 1.18. 
championship clubs up there. I don't care what anybody says. I am considering one of that 18 championship clubs up there. Because none of the real caves and cliffs things actually showed up as the one that 18. So we basically are ten. Even though we are on one that 20, I'm not going to consider it that. And we're on one that 21. We're doing snapshots for it on PC, one that 21, and it doesn't sound like from what it looks like. And to be fair, I haven't been really paying attention to it, but it doesn't feel like there is much in there. Also, I realize that the episode is getting long, so here's the deal. Also, I'm paying the wrong direction. That's good. That, that's it. Okay, I think I'm going to find it. I think I'm going to find it. Uh, no, no, I Um, here's the deal. I'll work on another portal out of episode. And, um, next episode, what will happen is that I, we're going to write it. And we're going to start working on a new project over there in the Snowy Tundra. I've brought it up a couple of times. You'll get to see it if you haven't guessed it already. Um, it, it'll be a, a really good project. I guarantee it. And it's going to be better than just a villager house. Because I, I have improved in my building skills ever since the 360 Guys Final Update. So I am going to really love messing with it. So, how far down is this lava source I'm supposed to try to look at? Because it is starting to annoy me a little bit. But, <gasps> better! We found the lava source chat. I'm not even kidding. We found the lava source, and I should probably. <gasps> I have a bucket! I have a bucket, I have a bucket, I have a bucket. Dear God, it's a bucket! You ever else pay attention to that? This isn't the lava source I was talking about, by the way. It was actually on like one of those other ones. I think I might have found it just that. I didn't just find that one. I was trying to find another one, did I? I didn't just find that. I. You can't tell me I just found it. Because I'm going to get mad. I just found it. I think I know where another one is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a marker or something here. That's why I just like, remember that one. <laughs> the worst part about it is it's so hidden out there that you're not gonna notice it until I put the marker on it. And that should be a good enough marker to notice. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna put another portal over at the house, from our current house, and then I'm going to get projects ready so we can start building over there next episode as well but that said i do appreciate you all and what hope you enjoyed watching and if you want to see more dragon's quest or more minecraft content in general feel free to subscribe because it really helps on bench and we are on the road to 500 so any bit of support helps and even if you just watched the video that's i really appreciate that as well so all right all right, then I shall see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.